New tonight, three adults are being charged after North Providence police say two coaches and a parent got physical during a youth basketball game. Now the players who were there were between five to seven years old. The mayor just calling this alleged behavior unacceptable. 12 News reporter Lauren Brill just spoke to him and joins us from North Providence. Well, Sheena, I'm told that all three men will also receive a no trespass order. Now, I spoke with the mayor and the president of the North Providence Youth Basketball Association, both shocked, saying that something like this has never happened before. What was meant to be a fun activity for children took a turn Saturday afternoon. This is... This is hurtful. It's embarrassing. According to North Providence Police Chief Alfredo Ruggiero, police were called to a basketball game at Birchwood Middle School for reports of a brawl between parents and coaches. For a youngster to see that, especially in their first years of youth sports, to see something like that, I mean, it puts a bad taste in your mouth for the kids to, to move on. Witnesses told police this all stemmed from an argument over a call made during the game. Three people allegedly got physical with each other and now each charged with disorderly conduct. Those involved include two coaches, 29-year-old Patrick Marchand, 38-year-old Gregory Adams, and a parent, 39-year-old John Angel. All three men will also receive a no trespass order, meaning they are not allowed on any North Providence School District property or at future basketball games. My question is why? Why do you do this? But I also want to send the message, as long as I'm here, this is not going to happen. It's not going to be tolerated and you're going to pay for it. Jeff Accioli has been part of the North Providence Youth Basketball Association for 20 years and says this isn't the norm. I mean, there's a little instance where people yap, but not like this. Accioli tells me going forward, the focus is the kids and making sure an altercation like this does not happen again. They want to watch their kids learn, have fun and, and grow through whatever sport they're playing. Accioli says there's about one week left in the season and they'll continue to run activities as usual. In North Providence, Lauren Brill, 12 News.